Hello and welcome to this very brief unboxing and review of the new switch from Powerbox Systems that I will be using from now on in my f 3 airplanes. This particular unit is being used in the epilogue. You can check the maiden flight clicking in the link in the top right corner of this video. So well, I've been using Powerbox switches since the very beginning. The quality of their products is more than known by all the F3A and aeromodeling community for aerobatic iMac jets. Now they are even producing a very interesting transmitter, the core. But here I will show you the, well, a very simple but very important component of our airplanes. Since 2014 I've been using the DigiSuite sensor V2, which had two different inputs and outputs for separated lipos. So basically two switches in one. The sensor weighs 15 grams more than a normal DC switch and you have to use two small uh, lithium batteries, but for us it's totally worth it because you don't depend on only a tiny 2S battery. And with this new switch we are following the same idea. So here we have the latest version, the third generation. And as you can see, they reduced the size of the switch, making it uh, thinner. They changed the, the plastic case for anodized aluminium, which improved the, the cooling efficiency and the performance. And in my opinion, it looks much better. Uh, with this version, you can adjust very easily the voltage from 6 volts to 7.8 uh, for high voltage servos. It works great with my new MKS servos. And yes, in general, I'm, I'm very happy with it. You have to follow the same sequence as with previous Powerbox systems, just holding the button and then press it again to switch on and the same for switching off. It has now two LEDs that can display the, the battery, you still have the percentage of the battery. And as you can see, there is two inputs and two outputs. So you have to connect there your two batteries and the outputs to your receiver. And one could ask why are you using the switch if you are running a uh, high voltage receiver and high voltage uh, servos? Why you don't connect directly your battery to the receiver, no? Uh, the reason is because you want to keep the voltage con uh, constant during the whole flight. It's very important to that the servos receive the, the same input during the whole flight to keep the same speed, the same force uh, and yeah, keep the same feeling of the plane. I will leave in the description of this video the links to the product and also to the manual in case you want to check it out and see all the specs and all the functionalities it has. So to summarize, here you have one of the best switches in the market right now, um, especially for F3A but also for any other kind of RC plane. And yeah, it's lightweight, it's simple, very easy to use. Uh, you can connect two batteries, uh, it's uh, fully adjustable, so for me it's, it's perfect for my airplanes and this is the one I will continue using for the next seasons.